Violence and a sex scandal tonight involving a church in New Jersey, an otherwise popular and married preacher accused of stabbing his former mistress, who is a fellow pre uh, pastor, and leaving her to die. She is now fighting for her life, and he's under arrest. I was news reporter Darla Miles at the church. She's in Patterson for us. Darla. Bill, this victim was trying to move on past this affair and even had a restraining order against the senior pastor at this church. But police say he became violent because he could not accept rejection. He don't need to be a preacher, that much is for sure. How you trying to preach to people and, and, and you doing worse than they doing? A holy man charged with attempted murder. Police say Reverend Edward Fairley critically stabbed his former lover and fellow pastor, Reverend Simone Shields. These neighbors and former church members of Koinonia and Christian Ministries in Patterson are familiar with the details, but reluctant to reveal their names. All during the week. Her car would be here and they'd get in his car and go. Tuesday afternoon, Shield was at this house on East 26th Street in Patterson when investigators say Fairley burst in and started stabbing her in the face, accidentally stabbing himself in the leg. Minutes after the attack, he was arrested down the street with a bloody knife in hand. She was rushed to St. Joseph's. She's a very nice person. She's a school teacher. And she's, she was here all the time with him. She would take care of him. Fairley is married, but according to police, had an affair with Shields. They say she broke it off two years ago and is now engaged, but he continued to pursue her. We tried to contact Fairley's wife at his home, where a woman peeked out of the door but refused to talk. If you just married her, if he was that much in love with this other woman, why would you go marry another woman and then jump out on her and be having an affair? That's not fair. He was a convicted felon before, so what's the hell? We're going to do it again. Fairley was convicted in 1984 for stabbing his then estranged wife and served six years for aggravated assault, kidnapping, weapons possession, and burglary. I, I, I can't believe you did that. It's hard for me to believe. It's very hard. Now, according to the Marquis, a Bible study is set to begin tonight at 7.30. It will go on without the senior pastor who is being held at the Passaic County Jail on a $1 million bond. Shields is in stable but critical condition at St. Joseph's. Reporting live in Patterson, Darla Miles, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.